But um, it was her and her brother that, that lived there. I can't remember their name, the last name. It was Collins? Or who? I think it was Collins. Who? Um, they, they were black, but uh, they were, um, damn, I can't remember. I think their father was, Daddy knew, Daddy either worked on the train with their father. Collins. The Collins fellow, yeah. And he was the one that was NAACP. No, he was a brother too. And the to, one that was NAACP was who? Was Roseanne's stepfather. Okay. And they, at that time, had moved from, from, they lived in the area for, for Gladstone School, so, I mean, they went to cross, and in those days, you, you could cross a border if you got permission to, and they didn't need to have it if you were in a certain direct di uh, distance away from the school. So she was in the right school, so Judy would never have been able to go to Gladstone from North End regardless of how she got across that bridge to here, right? Okay. So, and they used to stick to that stuff, like, when when, when we moved from 38th and Fraser, I was not, uh, I was probably in about grade 10, so they wouldn't make me go to John Oliver, even though it was like a block away, from, maybe two blocks away from the house. I had to bust it in order to keep my my whatever. I had to at Gladstone. I had to catch a bus to go there, right? Mm -hmm. I had to walk up right up by John Oliver School and catch a bus to Gladstone, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, and they didn't. That was okay. But if it, if it had been if I had been say seven years old and starting kindergarten, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. no, no, John Oliver is a high school, so you'd have to be at least grade seven. Grade was it a middle school or was it a high school? It's a high school, so you, what, they started at what, ten? Eight. Eight, so I would have had to be a grade eight to, to, to be forced to stay there, right? Yeah. But, but because I was in... I think it was 10th or 11th grade. I was probably at the beginning of my 11th grade when we when I we moved there and I started to go and yeah and just took the bus to school because once you got to a certain level like I think it was 10, 10, 12, yeah. 10, 11, 12. Yeah. If you were any of those. You could go whichever school you, you wanted, wanted to. to. Yeah. But as long as you could get yourself there safe. Yeah, as long as you could get there, right? Yeah. So. Mm. And it was just easy f for me to take the. I had to transfer. I took a, a 41st bus to, to, to Victoria Drive mm -hmm. and then transferred to a Victoria and then walked from the bus, from their stop to, to the school, which was about an hour, about a. A block or two, right? Mm. Anyways, we used to walk that distance to Victoria Drive at lunchtime so we could sit up there and smoke cigarettes mm -hmm. in the cafe, right? And buy a bowl of soup or something because there'd probably be about six of us around one table, right? And they really didn't get, they, you know, they didn't, they didn't um, try to kick us out, but if we got too, didn't get too noisy, but um, mm -hmm. it was usually about six or seven of us at one table, you know. So, um, I mean, it was a booth, right? So in that booth, there would be about at least three, at least six people. Mm. So, but that was my, I mean, we got out of school at 12 noon, boy, by 12, 10, everybody was at, at, at the cafe, right? Mm. Smoking cigarettes. Mm. <laughs> mm. And the, some of the girls, two or three of them, were the ones who kind of ran ran the the office. Huh? Ran the office? No, ran the the you know with the boys and stuff like you know they if if they if either of the three of those girl, girls 
had a party, yeah. you could expect that the the choice men yeah, yeah, yeah. would there, but, should, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. And I never, I only went to one, I went to one of their parties after grad, you know, after the grad ceremony, they, they call it, after grad party. Yeah, yeah. First time, and, and I never wanted to be, you know, at their weekend parties and shit, you know, so. Yeah. Because for, for one thing, I was working at the Harlem in, on the weekends, right? So I couldn't, uh. You I, couldn't. I, I, were, were you still at home when you were working at the Nocturne? When I was working in Harlem, yeah, 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 mm. I was I I I went I went uh, I worked at the Harlem from grade ten to to graduation practically. Yeah, mm. it's after graduation when I decided I didn't want to work there anymore, and I wanted to um, get a real job, you know, every day, you know, and that's when. Well, why didn't you want to work at the Harlem anymore? On the weekends, it was only weekend. Oh, stuff, no. know, yeah. And that wasn't enough money for me to, you know, after I graduated. Yeah. So that's when um, Mama pulled out the, the information that Daddy had gotten from the um, from the, uh, the alderman. Al alderman. Uh, What's his name? Oh shit. Alfred Wilson. Does that sound right? I yeah, don't know. Alfred Wilson. Who was? He was um. He was an. Uh, You know those guys that are at the in the city um, planners and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, Daddy had Halford. Well, I think it's Halford Wilson. You sure? On his train one time, going he was this guy. This um, he was an alderman. That, uh, 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 he was traveling to. He was an alderman, is that? But that that's not his name for sure, right? Oh, Alfred Wilson? Yeah. I think that's his name, Alfred Wilson. Anyways, Mama had his card, and he had given Daddy that card and said that your daughters will have trouble getting jobs because of the that race thing that was going on, right? Which you, race thing? You know, the the ordinary race thing where you, you, you get an invitation to... Oh, discrimination. Discrimination thing, mm. yeah. And he said that they will be discriminated against, right? So... Why you. You, huh? you. No, what? You. D d this alderman was saying that you... What? No, he said your daughter. Daddy, he asked Daddy how many kids did he have. And I think at that time, Danny wasn't born. Maybe Barbara was Halford wasn't. Wilson? You know, Alfred, huh? Halford? Yeah. That sound right? Not Alfred, but Halford. H-A-L-F-O-R-D. Yeah, Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. That's who we're talking about? Yeah. Mm. So well, Daddy met him on the on the train, on the yeah, train. and they had a conversation, and he recognized Daddy from from the from the prison Oklahoma Oklahoma Ocala with the with the Peggy, yeah, yeah, type. that thing, yeah. yeah, and he recognized Daddy from that because they, he was you know the photographers took pictures, yeah, of, yeah, of the, and this is the 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 the. the the, this guy, you the, know, he, this guy, he, um, I'm looking him up now, he, uh, is the man, he's the man that passed the motion to remove all Japanese Canadians, so he's part of the, the whole Japanese internment thing. He probably was, yeah, yeah, he probably was. Why? Why did they do that? No, why do you think he probably was? Well, because he, he'd been a, 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 a what was his title? Alderman. Uh, Alderman. He had been one for a 10, 15 years, I mean, long time. Long time. Long term. You know, so that's why when he gave that mo that card to Mom, he said, this card will get your kids, your girls, where you need, where you want them to have. Because when, when, when Mama took that, when she was, got that card from daddy she remembered him saying that and um we had gone if we had read an uh, article in the paper we're down uh, when we moved closer to marine drive this cafe was uh, had an ad in the paper for a waitress mm -hmm. for um every day you know like not just the weekends and, and that was going to change you know 
and I hadn't, I hadn't, it's a long story, but when I, in my 12th grade, I started bleaching my hair, so I had red, red or <laughs> red in the front. And Nina had one of them pictures, too, in her thing. Is that the same as what what Donna was doing? There's that, there's that picture of Donna that where her hair is all red. Is that how you did that? Donna? Yeah. Not me. I mean, Donna. But is that how you would have got the red? No, I did it with oxide. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Is that how you would have done it then? Yeah, I um, guess. Because we didn't get it get done at, the, at, a, at, at a, a shop. No. Yeah. Okay, so. So, I had, so sorry. Anyhow, Halsford, had, or whatever his name is. He, um. Mm. Oh, I, I had gone down to, um, you know, the UI, you, you yeah. know, unemployment clinic. And the woman had had me in, and I was saying I was having trouble finding a job. And she said, you know, if you had changed, if you changed your hair back to black, you probably would have a a, 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 a a better chance, better chance of finding a job. And I thought to myself, I'm not going to find a job here, so I'll, I'll go out on my own, right? So mm -hmm. that's when we saw that ad in the paper about us. They needed a waitress, mm -hmm. and. Um, that it was pay whatever it was paying, I can't remember. But anyways, we called and I made the appointment to meet with them. And Mama drove me there, and I walked in the door. And and as soon as she saw me, the woman said, well, "The position's been filled." Right. You know, one of those kind of things. Right. You know, so that's when Mom said, "That's okay." And I was uh, I might have even started crying, so I was so pissed off, right? But anyways. Um, Mom said, that's okay. When your father get, comes back, he was out of town on, on a run, I'll get that, that card and I'm going to call this. And I, th I, you know, I never thought anything of it. I thought, yeah, I'm right. It'll be the same kind of shit, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyways, Mama called the man. And the next day I had a, an interview with the, the, the top, manager of where people get like head of HR HR yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and um, and I he, it, and I, I had an appointment to go in there and I met with him and before I even got home uh, that he had called and left a message that I would start Monday you know mm -hmm. and so that was my my shoe in right so I went, it was, oh, it wasn't a great job, it was, I was, um, a f file clerk, oh lord, they had all the, all the, the recipients of welfare were in this huge room, and with, and every person that was on welfare had a folder, okay? Oh, you told me this story. Yeah, and I, I had to file those things, mm -hmm. and, and, and every day, you know, the, the people that dealt with people, I don't know what their, their title was, but there were offices in that building, and it was on East West 8th Avenue, Wait, Ava, West 8th and Broadway. So I used to catch a bus to Broadway and walk down a block, and it was there, okay? Mm -hmm. I stayed there, and, and this, when I, when I was working there, it was the, the, Hey, oh, it was a big incident that was happening. It was um, the something canal, the the water canal, the water. Or what? Um, you're talking when was this Ken Kennedy? No, that was this was before they even came in. It was even before. Uh, maybe they were in then. Maybe. Well, no, I don't think so, because I was living in Seattle when when uh, President the the Kennedys were assassinated. The Ken were a nom when when they were starting, so not getting killed, but were you know they were voting on them, you know. Anyways, um, Let me back up. Let me back up. Did you ever meet this alderman guy? Never. 
And I nobody did. ever meant nobody. Nobody ever said anything. Uh uh. I didn't know. He didn't know what I looked like, and I didn't know what he looked like. I I only knew from from the card that he gave Mom and them, you know, what his title was, and um, and that's when I got called to come in for an interview at at with the head person of uh, welfare. The I don't know what his title was, but uh, HR guy. Yeah. And uh, I got that, and I started like a week later, and stayed there for almost. I, the Berlin crisis was happening when I thought. That, I remember saying to somebody, "I hope we go to war, because then I don't um, have to work." We doing the this. Second World War? The it, no, it wasn't. They didn't go to war. The, it was just in the paper all the time. Every time, you know, the the Berlin crisis, you know, so. Um, I remember reading that that heading, and I thought to myself, "Boy, I hope we go. Boy, I hope we go to war so I can get out of this job, right?" But anyways, because um, Mama would not allow me to quit. <laughs> quit. <laughs> anyways, just happened that that one of the one of the girls above me, like she was, I was a clerk one, and she was a two, and she decided to leave. So I got moved up to her desk, which meant I didn't have to file all the time. I got mm -hmm. typing stuff, right? And I was I was only maybe maybe a couple weeks when uh, it opened up at um, at um, Juvie when they used to be at Yale Street, mm -hmm. and and, and the, the, they had their own the juvenile court and and. Uh, women, you know, trying to get like, payments uh, for their... Um, equal opportunity, like equal payment, or what do you mean? Women that, um, that were, you know, when you take your husband to to, to court because yeah. he's not paying child, child support. Yeah, that was, that office w was in the the, the, the the prison for the juveniles was on one side in yeah. one building, yeah. and the next, the other one was where the offices where the uh, the PCs, the um, the guys who you know kids that have gone bad, then they have yeah. to have a, a truant officer. or the truant op not the, the uh, probation officer. Probation officers. Yeah. Where and 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 that, that that job there was started off with me. You know how they do an interview and they want to type up and. Yeah, the information and put into a file, mm -hmm. and that was what my job was. Was and to type it out? Type the yeah, yeah. They would put it on tape, and I'd type it. Okay, but there were one, two, three, four of us, right? We didn't even have at that. This is how long ago it was. We didn't even have a, a photocop. It was photocopiers weren't even. So how did y'all make you cop? Was it the the crank thing? The no, you had you, if you type something. He had about six uh, carbon pieces of paper in between yeah. you know, to make copies of. Yeah. So you'd have to do that because if you didn't do that, you'd have to retype it again. Again. It, you know. Yeah. So you put it in, when you when you were given a tape to do, you'd do a rough copy first, mm -hmm. and if it was okay, then you, then you'd you, you'd go through and correct it, and on your typewriter, and then have all the the copies. You know. Mm -hmm. And I remember. It was such a big deal when they did get a photocopier, you know, like, they didn't want anybody to touch it, you know, except this one woman, she was the photocopier lady, you <laughs> give it to her. You know, you, wouldn't, you couldn't just walk in there and slap it on thing and run the thing, mm -hmm. you know. So I was, I worked, I was starting work before uh, photocopiers were even allowed in an office, right? Mm. That's, you're old. Yeah. <laughs> When did, how long did Mama work at the Nocturne? How long oh, was she? How long she how was many she years? Been? Probably about three or four years. Oh, he de he didn't trust anybody else to handle the money, except Mama. Mm -hmm. so, what? The you know the he had to pay Ernie 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 King. Yeah. Yeah. And Mama had to tell him off a couple times. You know he he come in there you know trying to throw his weight around and he said was. Here's the shit. Yeah, I'm out of here. You know, and the next day he'd say, I'm sorry, I, I was not, you know, and mm -hmm. she'd come back and, yeah. 
But yeah, mommy didn't take no shit from me, you know, so. Mm. Yeah. Who is she, who is he to her? Nothing except Marcella's, Marcella's aunt. Huh? Marcella. It's, it's Marcella is the connection. It's not Ernie. It's not Ernie. No, Marcella was married Marcella's to. Marcella's the, yeah, and Marcella's mama's niece. Yeah. Right. 